if I take a look at it and click on go, this is a 3D here. The comment might come that, oh, the roof is missing when I click on 3D and generate point cloud. So I just want to remind you that when we're creating point clouds, we are doing so with based on the 180 3D pop, which is 98% of your business from a front perspective. So yes, the top can't be seen because from the front view, I can't see it. If I could have seen it from the front view, then the points would have been casted. In this case, it can't be casted. So there's just arbitrary geometry here. The artists could have actually cut this out before sending it to you, but there's no need. They know that when they click on go, it's not going to show the points there anyway. So they're just saving time in order to get orders back out on time. It doesn't make a difference because when they click on go, that's not going to show. If you want something like that to show and you start wanting to get creative, then what you can do is in this case here, let's say I'm in the rush and I want something like this to show, maybe what I'll do is I'll turn on my top view and I'll enable it and I'll do my fill solid. So what fill solid does is it ignores texture. So you see here there's texture. It's kind of stretching different black and white patterns and stuff. It's irrelevant. It's got nothing to do. It's completely arbitrary. So I want that just to just be white. So what I can do is I can just click fill solid and how white do I want it to be? So I'm going 20%. I can go up to 100. So I'll just go 20% and I'll just go save. Okay. And now I'll click on go. And so the top, it's now going to include whatever it can see there. Actually, you know what? That's not the top. That's the left. The points are coming from that side, right? So that's the left. So let me, let me do this again. Edit geometry. My top goes off. It's my left because I rotated this. Fill solid, enabled, save. Okay. Let me just rotate it and then click on go. Okay, now you can see it lightly. Let me just do my control bracket to make it brighter for visual purposes. It's getting brighter, not because it's gonna be brighter in the crystal. It's getting brighter. It's like me going to my monitor and pushing the brightness button up so I can see it visually better. So that's all I've done with control bracket here. This doesn't look natural though, the way it's cut. So maybe what I'll do is get rid of most of it and just keep a little bit there. Something like that. and you've got a little bit of the top showing. So that's essentially a little work around there without having to commission a 360 project. And if you really, really wanted to have it there, but again, in our case, from the frontal view is what's optimal.